Welcome. Well, thank you. Welcome. It's, it's exciting, to, exciting to have you here. Yeah, no, absolutely. Second time, so it's, uh, it's different this time around. I know. So I'm going to start off. I just wanted to, um, because I think it's an, it's an amazing thing. For, for those of you who, um, who don't know uh, Rishi, um, started off in emergency medicine, yep. right? And I always find this uh, amazing as a, an emergency med- medicine doctor, um, but you were also an expert in blockchain. How does, yeah. that, how does that even happen? Um, mostly by mistake. I'd love to say it was uh, a stroke of genius or an epiphany. It wasn't. Um, you know, my interest had always been in technology while I was in residency, while I was in my training. I'd done a lot of work in tracking patient populations uh, and looking at different databases and how we interact with different databases and communicate information. And at the same time, I had friends who had gone the startup route and engineering route and said, have you heard of this Bitcoin, really, is how I got into it. And the two are different. Um, <laughs> and they said, listen, you should check out Bitcoin uh, because there's a fun way to play online called Satoshi Dice. So it's not a very glamorous start, <laughs> but that led me down this rabbit hole of understanding the technology of how this currency was transacted, how it was accounted for, um, and how it's also distributed and unlocked. And yep. so that started you know, me down that path years ago. And I had tucked it away for a little while as a hobby and interest while you know, developing my first company around telemedicine and brought it back as I sought a way to create security as well as accessibility around data and incentivize that patient interaction. So that's how it all came together for me. Okay, and is that where is, is BitMed came from that then, yep. for, directly? So my prior startup health company was BitMed and we delivered a telemedicine product domestically and internationally. And we sought to subsidize the entire patient interaction uh, at no cost, based off of data sales, de-identified data At what cost? No cost. Yeah. And so we fully subsidized primary care, preventative care, uh, women's health, uh, even had started down the path of mental health, you know, through just de-identified data sales and, and that entire process. And we leveraged blockchain to be able to incentivize to be the conduit for data transaction while rewarding our patients for participating in that interaction as well. That's amazing. So so what would you say to the people who say, oh, you can't can't drive the cost of healthcare down to zero? Well, I have about 100,000 interactions that are pretty wrong on that one. I Um, love it. That was was a nice accomplishment. And that led me to discovering Rejuvenon. Uh, and, and Fred Nazem. Which is, right, which is an, an amazing, another really interesting story because you're doing your own thing with, with, uh, with BitMed. And then d- just can you explain, first off, for, for those who don't know who Fred is and yeah. what, what he was doing and how you guys, this whole um, conference is really about collaboration yep. and how you guys sort of got together and decided to, to, to merge. Yeah, absolutely. So Fred Nazem is the, was the co-founder and then CEO of Rejuvenon Global Health. He had a long track record in healthcare, has a long track record in healthcare. He did. Um, you know, having just celebrated, I think, his 80th birthday, and I don't think he'd mind me saying that. But his track record, you know, dates back to starting the earliest VCs out here on the West Coast, having IPO three companies that he helped co- uh, co-found as well, and been a part of 60 other IPOs. He turned around Oxford Health uh, and has led to his value creation since. And so he has been a, a cornerstone in healthcare and its development. He's um, legendary. Exactly. I mean, he really yeah. is. He's legendary in healthcare. And, and so it was an honor to meet him. And he and I actually met at Columbia, at a, at a conference at Columbia where I was speaking. And Fred and I sat down for coffee. I admittedly did not know everything about what I just said. I just said, this is, seems like an interesting person to talk to. And we sat down with coffee. And he described Rejuvenon to me there. And he said, I'm looking to create a way for people to, be, to access their health that 95% of the time that they're well. Yeah. I want to be able to engage with them in a personalized, accessible manner on their terms. And I've created this platform and this experience along with a score to help them create an objective score around their health founded in science and then execute on that score for a sense of betterment on their terms. And I was a little bit awestruck at that moment because that's the pitch that I give for BitMed, yeah. just from the other angle. My angle was always, you know, we, we started BitMed to create personalized, accessible healthcare, you know, by driving all the barriers down to zero, starting yeah. with cost. And so we wanted you to think about your health, to think about BitMed, but we engaged from the sick care side. 
We had a team of physicians, a medical practice that covers the entire US, and at that time international as well, that would allow you to talk to us, address your primary care, preventative care, all those goals, and then get you engaged on your health from there moving forward. Right. I realized for BitMed, one of our struggles was we become problem focused. Yeah. And the success that Fred and Rejuvenon had had is they are people focused. They're focused on the person, not just their problems. They're focused on what are their needs, what are their goals, and most importantly, you know, as you find when you engage with consumers in health, what are they willing to do? Yeah. That is the, another driver. Because if you create a plan as a physician, right? If you create a plan, they take the statin, go run five miles, and you know, you're gonna do great with your cholesterol. Then they go home and you know, pop some Big Macs yeah. and never run again. You just lost. It yeah. doesn't matter if you had the right plan. That wasn't the right plan for the patient or for the member. So I want to, for we, so when you go to the Rejuvenon um, site and you download your platform, right? That's one of the first things it has you do is answer a bunch of questions and you come up with this sort of combined score that is a generalized health score, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all based on basically Nobel Prize scientific, true scientific um, uh, data, right? Yep. And reproducible and trackable. Yes. And that's, I think, right, that's the power of this is you can actually follow your progress and you can follow the patient's progress. Um, one of the things that I, 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 I'm amazed at and that uh, it fits right into our driving the cost down to zero is what, what does it cost the patient? $10. Every time they come on? So it's $10. You, you pay a $10 subscription fee to have access to your experience. You have everything planned out. Your initial wellness visit is free or included in your subscription. Yep. And if you need to do a sick care visit with one of our doctors or one of our specialists, it's ten dollars. Yeah. No insurance. We're not. You know, it's no hidden fees. There's no markup. It's just ten dollars. If you engage on your health and you yeah. engage in your plan and participate, you can drive your cost again back down to zero. You can earn our Rejuvenon reward points to subsidize your physician visits or other goods and services in our marketplace. Right. Stop, it, stop and think about that for a minute. Right? You, you have access to physicians, to people to help you to stay healthy, or if, if need be, to get healthy, and the cost can be driven down to zero. I mean, it's revolutionary. Um, and I mean, we're truly, we're just proud to be part of, of your journey on that. Yeah. But, it, but, it, but it's an amazing, it really is an, an amazing thing. So how, how do you get, so once you get patients onto the platform, how do you keep engaging them? Absolutely. So it actually starts, what we learned initially with Rejuvenon is, you know, you have your, your health score, which is 10 biomarkers that is based on that telomere science, right? Those 10 biomarkers have three unique traits. One is they are, you can do them all from home. You don't need to go into a lab. Two, they're immediately relevant to medical practice. So just as it's important to our health score, it's also important to tell your doctor about your A1C, your systolic blood pressure, how much you're drinking, your activity, et cetera. And so it has that relevance there. Mm -hmm. And you know, the third component is it directly relates to the elongation of telomere length which is what was shown to prevent or improve morbidity, mortality. You know, adding you know length to your years and you know quality of life to those years as well. Right, and that is a, and, and that is a malleable thing. You can actually, even though uh, many people say, oh, we talked about d to this with Dean, um, is what is health and diet and exercise and changing the lifestyle do? But that actually can affect the telomere length, and you really are in increasing longevity, right, and Absolutely. health. And so what we do is you get that score. That's your set point. That's where you're at. You're 67, you're 78. That's OK. That's where you are. And then there's a risk detection and treatment engine that starts driving this personalized experience for you. That is you know, where, where it really starts. But we added in a layer over that. With the, you know, with the acquisition of BitMed, we introduced what's called the initial wellness visit. This is a, that no-cost wellness check. So when you come on, I don't really want you to answer any questions. I just want you to schedule your appointment. Let us do the heavy lifting, because that's how you get people to care about their health. It's too much to ask people for more once you've had them sign up. It, it doesn't work. What, what, what does work is giving people something of value when they sign up. And most people today cannot sign up to a service and schedule an appointment with a physician who's going to end with a team that's, that's guaranteeing they're going to be with them throughout their health journey. 
So that's what we offer right when you sign up. And that's what's gotten us our adoption and, and really gets people going. That's that primary engagement. Now, once you're on the platform, that risk detection and treatment engine, that's driving an experience for you. So if you would, and so let's say for me, for me, I could probably do better with my nutrition. Actually, I know I could do better with my nutrition because Rejuvenon really made me quite aware of that. And so my weakness is apparently high glycemic foods. So I get <laughs> notifications. I think it's times, all our weaknesses. Exactly. <laughs> but I get timed notifications to when I'm going to make my decision as to what I'm going to eat today or what I should pack for lunch. You know, should I have that extra snack before bed? Yeah. The app engages with me in a scalable manner because that's the artificial intelligence. Sometimes you need more than just you and, you and a robot. Yeah. So we have user communities, people with you on the same experience to reach out for support, for information, things that you may not discuss with a doctor because we, we don't know. Yeah. You know, It may just be outside of our respective scope as to what's the best grocery store local to me to buy this type of organic food. You know, that's a community question. And then finally, that care piece of having a physician at any time you want. You can do consults on demand, and you can schedule them if that's better for you as well. So that's how we start that engagement, through behavioral nudges, notifications on the app, our own chat bot, a really personality to the platform, as well as live human user communities. My opinion is that the best mix to engage in healthcare is the right mix of human touch, made scalable through technology. Right. The technology should fall behind everything else. Our users don't know about a blockchain. They don't need to. No one cares. You know, our users definitely don't know about the artificial intelligence because no, no patient cares about your algorithm. What they care is that is this service, is this experience about me? Is it relevant to me? And does it trigger me at the time when I'm going to make a decision? Mm -hmm. And that's what Rejuvenon seeks to do. So with, with a, a cost model that's so cheap to, I should say, inexpensive, to take good care, preventable care, right? Because that's, that's sort of talk, going back to what we've talked about with HLI and with Dean. So much of this is prevention, right? If mm -hmm. you can get your hemoglobin A1C down because you're getting reminded, hey, maybe skip that extra, like you said, high yeah. glycemic um, meal or snack or, you know, hey, did you, you haven't exercised in, in a few days, maybe, you know, go for a run yeah. or, or stand up at work. All or in a point for exercising, right? right. It, it, sink your Apple Watch and go get that mile, you know? Exactly. Yep. So as, as you move forward, do you see, uh, where do you see Rejuvenon um, sort of settling in in the healthcare system? Is it something where you think that health systems are going to start to do it? Do you, do you see it by itself as a preventative medicine tool? Do you see insurance companies saying, hey, wait a second, they're doing what, you know, they're, they're actually helping us reduce um, morbidity, um, maybe we should partner with them. Yep. Or all of the above. So I see Rejuvenon's platform and experience as, if you will, a, a bit of health navigation. You know, there are, this room is filled, right, with companies that have created brilliant solutions, right? But solutions don't matter if your patients don't know, if people don't know when to get to them and how to use them. Yeah. That's where we've fallen off in healthcare. What we're able to do is, you know, we offer our own solution to help the patient get started. We bring in partners that you know, we vet and we provide solutions to them that are immediately relevant for them. So if you need that de-stress, improved sleep, you, you have diabetes and hypertension, let's bring in the right services. If we have them or if a partner has them, let's bring them in. Yeah. If you do a consult with one of our doctors, and listen, not everything can be handled over telemedicine. If we need to hand off care, then we want to hand you off in an appropriate manner. Let's find the right health system under your insurance to provide you with the best possible experience, both health-wise, yep. but also address your personal needs, financial concerns, timing concerns, et cetera. When we look for partners now, we see you know, our deployment, or our, you know, we have two primary business channels. One is the, you know, what you'd expect a B2B to see, where we work with insurance companies, we work with you know, employers to provide our service you know, to their members. Yeah. But we also have a strong B2C uh, channel. This is what we started you know, since the BitMed acquisition. Because at the end of the day, whether it's an employee or it's just a person who saw an ad, it's a person using your product. Yep. They need a community. They, and Rejuvenon is a movement. Yeah. And so we want to create that. So we have social media influencers. We have other brands working with us to, you know, to sponsor giveaways or sponsor, you know, create brand awareness and interest to make it actually enjoyable and positive to engage in your health. Yeah. 
So those are the, the two channels, and we engage with partners on both. Yeah. Um, and what, yeah. and what an, I was going to say, what an exciting time, because as you mentioned, um, as you increase the, the companies that you're partners with, as technology and data improve and provide you with more data points that you can actually be focused on, right, um, in, your, in your overall score, it's, it's just going to get more powerful and more powerful. Absolutely. It's interesting as, you know, as I was listening to, listening to the last speaker speak about data, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. And you talk about population health and, health and cohorts of data. But people in and of themselves are little treasure troves of data when you can engage with them longitudinally yeah. in a structured manner. And you can actually drive users, drive people, you know, on how to engage in a predictable manner with their health and provide a service around that that brings honestly back the, the magic of technology. Yeah. When someone logs in and, or doesn't even log in, but gets that alert at that moment in time to help direct their behavior to, to produce a tangible outcome for them that they were willing to do, yeah. you, you just won. Because they feel like they did it. And they also feel like, hey, this app knows me. This service, Rejuvenon knows me. Yeah, it, it, and it really is an amazing thing. I, I know we're running out of time, but just when you, you know, as a physician, I was always, and I don't want to say skeptical, but you're like, will people really adapt to little reminders on behavior? And uh, something as simple as on the Apple Watch, the take a deep breath, mm -hmm. you know, that you get pinged every once in a while. And at first I was like, ah, what's this? And I would just turn it off. Then I was like, well, let me see how it does. And it really does, it's a, it's a small lifestyle modification, but I think it does relax you, de-stress you a little bit and say, oh, okay, let me get, on, get, get back to my day. It's, a, it's, a, it's a not intrusive, and I think that the benefits are, can be, absolutely amazing. And I think that the other thing which you had touched upon, which is this is really a combination. People um, don't understand that population health and personalized medicine are actually really intricately um, tied together, that you can't have one without the other. Yeah. So um, I, I think we're out of time, but uh, well, thank you so much. We're, you. I'm uh, so excited to watch Rejuvenon grow and, uh, and continued success. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All righty.